quick look at the sign rule here. I've constructed a, well I've not constructed, I've drawn a scalene triangle and I've put some labels on it. This vertex I've labelled A and therefore the side opposite is labelled lowercase a. This vertex is labelled b, so the angle here is b. The side opposite is lowercase b. This would be c and this would be lowercase c, but I've not labelled those. Then for this line of extended or drawn a b produced, you might say that means a b extended off to infinity in both directions. And I've drawn from this point a perpendicular to that line. So this is the line which is at right angles to this. It's not a perpendicular bisector, obviously, as you can see, just at right angles from this point. Now let's have a look at a couple of things here. Firstly, what is the sine of B? Well, the sine of B equals opposite over hypotenuse, red over A. Sine of B is red over A. So red equals B, sorry, red, red equals A times the sine of B. I'll say that again because I mucked it up. Sine of B equals that over that. So red equals A times the sine of B. Type that in here so that we don't forget. Now look at it from A's point of view. The sine of A is this divided by this. There's a little, there's a right angle triangle there, so it's red over green. Rearranging that gives red equals green or B times the sine of A. Red, red equals B times the sine of A, which I've put here. Now if they're both equal, red hasn't done any ch red hasn't changed at all, so a sine b must equal b sine a. And we can rearrange that to make the sine rule, which is a over sine a equals b over sine b. There's nothing special about the labels a and b here, I could have used c. So that's where we get a over sine b, uh, a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. Uh, we could have rearranged it the other way around, we could have divided to get sine a over a equals sine b over b. You'd see that if you rearrange it yourself. Now this is a little bit of a con because watch what happens if I drag this along. At some point, we're no longer talking about the sine of A. We're talking about the sine of this angle here. Sine of this angle equals red over green. Um, so it's a bit of a con in a way, the sine rule, uh, because once we go past 90 degrees, we're no longer talking about the angle in the triangle, we're talking about the angle outside the triangle which makes this sine of A. Uh, we'll resolve that later when we look at what the sine of A actually is and we will actually discover that this angle has the same sine, S-I-N-E, as this angle. 